Um, in the apalutamide trial, they did include patients who had um, both, um, they had non-metastatic disease, but if they had one lymph node that was two centimeters or less, and it was um, below the iliac bifurcation, those patients could receive apalutamide and therefore could have a benefit of receiving this drug. Um, in uh, the enzalutamide trial, um, they did include patients um, who had a baseline PSA of two, um, and so that might be an important factor to consider for patients who might fit into that category. Um, in terms of side effects, um, apalutamide was associated with more hypothyroidism, rash, falls, and fractures, and so patients who might already have um, uh, hypothyroidism or a thyroid disorder may not be the best candidate for that drug, um, or have <clears throat> a history of um, osteopenia or osteoporosis may be at higher risk for them falls and fractures. So that, again, would be a population I probably wouldn't consider apalutamide in, and enzalutamide might be better. Um, and in terms of enzalutamide side effects, there is a like, higher chance of hypertension um, when you look at the actual numbers compared to apalutamide, so that might be another consideration.